One at a time. Emily. Jeremy. One at a time. some stuff around the station this morning and it's the weather is nasty outside right now absolutely nasty so just got back from a call and I'm trying to do a few more things there's a bunch of stuff I wanted to do around the station today but it's it's just so nasty outside a lot of it. I have to do either partially outside or outside. So I think it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Doesn't look like the rain's going to let up for a while. We got a lot of nasty storms coming in off the Gulf. So say la vie. Let me pour myself another cup of coffee. It's raining pretty good out there right now. So cute. I've had a massive headache since yesterday. It goes and comes and goes and comes, but I've been home for a while. We laid in bed. Jeremy, did you sleep at all? Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep because my head hurt too bad. But I, I beat a lot of levels in my game on my phone. And Emily has a new toy over there that someone from church brought us. So cute. We ate some food for like a liner, lunch dinner, yeah. liner. Yeah. And oh my word, it stormed so bad at church today. Well, we live in Louisiana, and so our church is actually raised on, what do you call it, Piling, pilings. pilings? So our church is like 20 feet in the air. So I thought our church was just going to blow away, um, but and the lights didn't even go out. If that would have happened, the kids would have flipped. Now Jeremy is going to go get ice cream because we haven't had it in a while. We really shouldn't be getting ice cream, but um, we are. <laughs> she wants my ice cream. So, Jeremy's been to the Grand Canyon before, and I haven't. So, I'm sitting here trying to figure out... We're camping at the top of the canyon. So... Do we drive there and have to climb to the top? <laughs> or, like, what is this about? So, apparently, you kind of drive up the mountains... And that's how you get to it. And you're at the top when you get there. Yes. And 
And I also found out that the high is 66. And at nighttime, it's like 30. 34. 34. It's gonna like snow. So, thank God it's only one night. I have to sleep in a sleeping bag where I can't even spread my legs. <laughs> and with Emily like in the sleeping bag with me probably. Or else she's gonna, we're gonna wake up and Emily will be inside an ice block. And on Wednesday, our flight leaves at seven. Sweet, at least we'll get there early. I hate it when like you leave for vacation and you don't leave till later in the day and you're like waiting around. Um, I took like an hour nap. Like my head's just been bothering me. I still have like a tiny little headache, but it feels a lot better. So before I go to bed tonight, I'm editing big time. We always do things that are like normal. I know. We different. always only ever go to like Florida. There goes the remote again. Florida. Indiana. Virginia. We need to go somewhere for ourselves. Not to visit people. I know people want us to visit and all, but we have to have other things too. And I don't want you to see the Grand Canyon. I want to go back to it too, but I want to go back to Arizona since it's been a long time since I've been there. And I want you to see the Grand Canyon. It's on your bucket list. It is on my bucket list. I've been, this will be my third time going to oh. the Grand Canyon. The first time I went out with my parents and Norm. And we, we stayed, we, we drove up to a little town um, called Flagstaff, I think is where it was. And we stayed at a hotel, and then we took a train up to the Grand Canyon, to the to the little area to, to the lodge and stuff that's there. There's a train, little train depot, and it's basically just a tourist train, just a tourist train. And um, and we were there for like four hours, and then we took a train back. <laughs> so it was it was cool. That was enough for what my parents wanted to see, you know. And but then the last, second time that I went, Norma and I actually went up. And we actually drove up, and we actually went and hiked the whole, like hiked down to the river, to the set, to the. That's the, really cool. To the ranch that's down there. I would love ranch. to do that, but I wouldn't be able to do it bringing all my kids. Mm -hmm. I still want to do the whole hike across. Hey, hey, hey! No, not my dirty feet. Mm. Remember when you had to check the island? Well, I just saw a fish cross in front of me. <laughs> Emily, on one at a time. One at a time. Emily, Jeremy. One at a time. <laughs> so Jeremy stripped Emily naked for her bath and started holding her and I'm like, I hope she doesn't pee on you. <laughs> she peed all down the front of my clothes. I touched her little butt because <laughs> her butt was so cute. I touched it and like pee came out and then she did it again. Yeah, she peed on me twice. I think she just was trying to get the rest out. So, yeah. Sometimes I'm in a jam. I gotta make a plan. It might be crazy. I do it anyway. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I should have ended it a long time ago. I've been editing, I edited the 28th and the 29th and now I'm about to edit the 30th and it's almost 11 p.m. I'm really tired. I probably should go to bed but 
I'm determined to get this situated so that tomorrow I can do housework, packing stuff, getting things ready. So I'm probably going to be extremely exhausted tomorrow, but... It's okay, we'll make coffee. My last day on duty tomorrow, um, they had a couple of big events over the weekend um, in the community that, de that the department participated in. So we're going to be cleaning up, putting stuff back from all that, and I've got my normal cleanup to do, and some, uh, some special events. So you'll be busy tomorrow. And, yeah, so I'm going to be pretty busy tomorrow too, so... And then I get off Tuesday morning. And Wednesday we're leaving. So we will... Oh, I clicked something. We will see you later, alligators. After a while, Crocodile's gonna be nice.